go. Okay, so now we're going to measure shoulder internal external rotation range of motion. In an atomic position, shoulder internal and external rotation occur in the transverse plane, but in our testing position, internal and external rotation are going to occur in the sagittal plane, and we're going to measure it in the sagittal plane. So we talked about the planes, the end feel is firm, normal value for shoulder external rotation is 90, and normal value for shoulder internal rotation is 70. The patient is going to be supine in the bed, she's going to have 90 degrees of shoulder abduction and 90 degrees of elbow flexion, and then we're going to put a little towel roll under her distal humerus so that her humerus is parallel with the ground. So I want you to hold your arm right there, okay? So we talked about patient position, normal value. I need to be right here on the side of my patient so that I can line everything up. And for external rotation, I want you to bring your hand back toward the floor this way. And I just need to make sure that she maintains 90 degrees of elbow flexion and that the bed isn't in her way. So the bed was limiting her a little bit. So if I were to do a visual guesstimate, I would say she would pass 90 degrees, right? So the fulcrum goes over the olecranon of the... Um, the olecranon process of the ulna, the stationary arm is perpendicular to the floor, and the moving arm lines up with the um, ulnar styloid process. And she went past 90, so 100, 110, 112 degrees of external rotation, and we're coming back up to neutral. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring her hand forward as far as you can this way, and I don't know if you guys can see there's a little bit of compensation happening, happening here. Um, you can see the humeral head kind of popping up anteriorly. Okay, so let's bring your hand forward. Can you, go, can you go any more? See how much it really starts to pop up there? So we're going to stop her. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then there it's... Okay, so we're going to stop her right here because that's when it really starts to kind of jump up, if you will. And everything in terms of our alignment is the same. Our fulcrum's gonna go over the olecranon process of the ulna, our stationary arm is perpendicular to the ground, and our moving arm lines up with the ulnar styloid process. So she's got 40 degrees of internal rotation. So you had 120 of external, 40 of internal, which is 160, which I don't think is that bad. Um, and that's it.